Whoa! Anybody else hear that? <laughs> Something's really mad! What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Throughout the entire game, I've been hearing these clanging chains, and now let's see what's clanging them. If you find a random chest, and you see this happen... Jeez, something's really not happy. Terrifying? That's debatable. Uh, well, I mean, you piqued my curiosity, yeah. Look, Rise, what could possibly be in this box? I mean, come on, it's just some clanking chains. Don't ever open it? But I want to see what's in the box. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, what's this? Just a regular shadow here? No! This is the Reaper! Feels the most really powerful boss in Persona 3. Yeah, he got a major downgrade in Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden. In Persona 3, he was level 99. But in Persona 4 and Golden, he's level 85. He is not powerful, especially when all of my enemies are... Or all of my allies are so powerful. Okay, Reaper, you are going down. Let's go ahead and start with a Dragon Hustle. Chie, get everybody powered up. I want them ready to take this thing on. You used up a lot of magic, though. So, uh, hopefully we should be able to take you down. Ooh, a Mind Charge. What you gonna do? Going after Yukiko with that? Well, thanks, Yukiko. Thanks, Homunculus. All right, so... Naoto is all powered up and ready. Let me go ahead and mind charge. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Naoto, you are going to do so much damage. Let's see, who do I have equipped? I have a Sora equipped. I actually um, reloaded an old save just to come fight, just to come fight the Reaper here, and I can't remember what I have. Primal Force? Uh, you know what? Let's use that. Let's see what happens when we attack the Reaper. 355? Eh, not bad, not bad. And Yukiko, while you're here... Turn to yeah, turn to Scarlet! Burn that Reaper! Oh, 216! Oh, come on. Well, since we Dragon Hustled Chie, let's see what a God's Hand does. Please do a lot of damage. I'm waiting for it. 281! Okay, fire-breaking Yukiko. And hitting Chie. Well... Kinda saw that coming. Okay, good. I was about to say, my luck's not going as well as it should, but the Reaper is a powerful boss, so I guess I can let it go. Actually, no, forget that. Mind Charge Megadolion! Come on, now I'll blow it to pieces! With the power of the apocalypse, destroy the Reaper! Uh, I wanna do that too. Let's see what this does. Probably not a lot. But maybe it will. 138? Huh, okay. Uh, Yukiko, bring us all back up to snuff. Because at this rate, he's all powered up. I wonder what he's going to do next. I gotta see this. Oh, oops, I forgot it was still Chie's turn. Uh, we'll go ahead and power charge you and get you ready to use another God's Hand. I want to see that power. Udun? That's mainly what the Reaper is going to be pulling this entire time is a lot of insta death magic, and he will always get two turns, and that is brilliant, Chie. Good job. All right, let's see. Heavy physical damage to all foes with a chance of poison. Actually, Naoto, I want to see what you're doing magic-wise. How about a Bufudine? 127? Well, that'll work. Hmm. Let's use another Primal Force. I want to see if I can get a critical on this thing. It doesn't happen too often, but I want to see it. 355! <gasps> Rise, what you got for me? Maybe a buff? Yes! Oh, I love that! She just mind charged and power charged us. Burn him up! Destroy him! Oh, yes! Oh, Chie, you're back. All right, use a God's hand. I want to see this. Risei powered you up. You powered you up. 
Oh, it's so good! Who's he using that on? Naoto? Okay. Ooh, myriad arrows. That's not going to hurt at all. Good job. Looks like all of our stats are going back. But that's okay. Don't use fire on it. I, I'm just assuming based on... Oh, oops. I'm just assuming based on what it has used here. Ooh, a Bufodine. I want to see. Boom! 308. Excellent. Let's see, we're all still doing pretty good on health, so... I don't really have to change much of anything. So, go Primal Force, I guess. 889! Oh, that's good, and he's already looking weak. So, Yukiko, are you going to finish it off? Ah, oh, 209. How about you, Chie? I want to see you finish this thing off. Ah, oh, so close. Mahamon? Oh, that would be terrible if this actually hit. <laughs> what are you doing, Reaper? You got nothing. All right, fine. Let's finish you off. Naoto, send it to hell. Oh, so close. Darn it, and that was a good line, too. All right, me. One more Primal Force should do it. Out of here. And that's the Reaper. Like I said, not very difficult. And look at that money. Look at that experience. Yeah. That was really worth it. But in return, we have reaped the Reaper. The Reaper has been defeated. Now, what I got right here, this blade that I just got, that is your ultimate weapon. The Blade of Tatsuka. This thing is a monster. It's a mystic sword that kills gods. It has 408 attack, 96 hit, and critical rate up. I will gladly take that. Now, the way the Reaper works is every time you defeat it, and yes, you can fight this thing more than once, it will drop the ultimate weapon for the main character first, and then every other time you beat it, it'll drop a random ultimate item for whoever's in your party. So if I were to defeat it again, it would have dropped the ultimate weapon for Chie, Yukiko, or Naoto, which is how he works. And yes, I know I'm dying, but I just beat the Reaper, so I'm happy. Now, how to make the Reaper appear? That's a little different. How the Reaper appears is it has a chance of appearing every 20 second red ch or every 20 second chest that you open. And that goes for golden chests too. So let's say you're going around and you find three chests per floor. So the best way to grind it is to open the three chests, go back to the entrance. Open three, back to the entrance. Back here is the entrance. And then when you get up to about 20 or 21, probably 20 or 19, save out here and go back in and open chests until you get to the 21st chest. Once you do that, you'll start hearing the chains. And then you'll only have a chance of finding the Reaper, and you can only find him in the red chests, which is how that works. So that's pretty much it for this bonus episode. I just wanted to fight the Reaper, and it felt really good to just absolutely obliterate it. And I love how I didn't have my ultimate 99 save file anymore, so everyone was in the 80s, so they were around the, the Reaper status. Yeah, they weren't too high in levels, actually. And a little fun fact, the Reaper in Persona 3, it may have been level 99, but it had 4,444 HP, because 4 is considered the unlucky number in Japan. So that is it. Until the next bonus episode, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, probably one of the best parts of Persona 4 The Animation, and spoiler alert, Adachi controlling not one, but three Reapers. And I think I just proved that they're not that tough. See you guys next time.